Hi everybody, I'm Dan Joseph with MRC TV. Now recently, the city of Chicago's public school system passed an ordinance that would mandate that kids in kindergarten start learning about sex ed. I want to talk to people to find out what they think about what Chicago did and find out when they think it's appropriate to start teaching kids about sex. How old do you think it's appropriate that, that kids start getting that information? Seventh grade. Seventh grade. Seventh grade. Wow. <laughs> That's a tough one. Uh, say seventh grade. Um, probably early elementary school. I don't know, first or second grade. Ew. Oh. Um, probably middle school. Oh god, I would wait until sixth or seventh grade. Fifth grade. Probably third grade. What age do you think it's appropriate for kids to start taking sex ed in public school? Oh, that's funny. Um, my kid is, uh, my younger one is in second grade, and I just got the pamphlet for him to opt out or opt in for sex. Oh, what are you going to do? Are you going to have him opt out? Yeah, I think he's a little too young for that. Okay, okay. He's seven, second grade. Do you really need to learn that now? I would say maybe preteen. Preteen, so like seventh grade, eighth yeah. grade, maybe sixth yeah. grade. Unfortunately, I would say probably sixth grade at 12. Would you be okay with them teaching about alternative relationship lifestyles? Mm. No. I'm thankful that, you know, my, my oldest is seven, and honestly, I would like to be later. If you keep getting told, like, you know, stay away from something from a young age, eventually you're gonna be like, well, you know what, I've been told to do it for so long, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. When you start something that young, you're sort of introducing the idea um, and taking away a lot of innocence. Boys and girls are probably aware that there's a difference. Mm -hmm in kindergarten. Probably too early to start talking about it. Elementary school might be all right. Students will also take a look at the different family structures that exist in today's society. Whether that means there's two moms in the home, we just introduce the fact that we all have a diverse background. That's a lesson some conservative organizations oppose, accusing CPS of giving in to liberal groups that seek to normalize homosexuality, present disordered family structures as normative. What if I told you that in the city of Chicago they have now mandated that kids should start getting sex education in kindergarten? No. No? You think that's too young? No. Yeah, I think it's way too young. I heard about that and I think it's disgusting. You think it's disgusting? Why, why are you Why are you concerned about it? Because I think you're sexualizing kids at an early age. They're not supposed to know that stuff yet. And if they're seeing that in their environments, that needs to be tackled through social services or whatever. But most kids are not exposed to that. I think it's overblown. It depends on what level they go to. Obviously, kids at that age, what certain parts are named, what kind of things they can expect, what what happens, you know, when they see a pregnant woman, what, what, what is that about? Okay. But they're teaching it in first grade and how much more can you break it down mm -hmm. for kindergarten to make it, you know, accessible content for them to understand. Oh no, I'd have a problem. He probably opt out. It's horrible. You think that's bad. Why do you think that's too early? I think it's, I think that's a parent's job at that age to approach it in the way they feel is appropriate to approach it with their child. Uh, no, I just totally no. bad. Yeah. Why do you think that's inappropriate? Um, I just feel like they're too young. They wouldn't really understand, and it would probably just scar them. I think it's very political. I think oh, yeah. they're trying to do, they think they're trying to do the right thing. It's like a, the more progressive way of thinking. Mm -hmm. They're trying to do the right thing, and in reality, they're just making it worse. I think classroom setting plus what happens at home. You need to know what they're talking about there in a very formalized setting, and they're all getting the same message, and then you cater to your personal values, views, morals at your home. I think that the, you run the risk of them becoming more promiscuous at a younger age. Wow. Because they know more. If it's a, making them wise about potential predators in a, an age-appropriate way, mm -hmm. um, that's probably wise. Maybe in Chicago they just run out of other problems, so now they think they have to tackle this kind they of thing. They will never <laughs> run out of problems. <laughs> Ever, 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 ever. What age do you think is appropriate for kids to start sex ed? Well, I don't think kids should start sex. Well, no, well, not sex. Young adult. Sex ed. Learning oh, about sex, sex. No, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. When should they start sex ed? No, no. I mean, but if you want to give us your opinion on that. Oh, no. 